boosted board has brakes. Uh, it's the opposite of the throttle, and you should use it when necessary. It's good stuff. Ow. Okay, no, I'm, there's like thorns in my body. Slow, so. Oh. Oh. You gotta rip the band aid. That's not What's up everybody? My name's Jeff, you are watching Ride. So here I am doing everything I can to bring you a review of a pair of boosted boards. And we're gonna kick things off with this one here. This is the Boosted Mini X. This is the small one of the family. And oddly enough, this one is my favorite one. And I'm gonna show you why. So this is the Mini X, it's 29 and a half inches long and it has a nice concave composite deck. All told, this weighs 16.8 pounds. The real meat of this is that it has 1,000 watts of power, and it's sending that power to the rear wheels via these two belt drives. It's basically like the Porsche 911 of compact electric skateboards. With this extended battery, the range is 14 miles. Your mileage may vary depending on your girth and weight and all that good stuff. It has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which is hauling on a skateboard. And this one, it's not cheap, but personal mobility these days is getting more expensive. It's not the most expensive board out there. It is not the cheapest board out there. It's about in the middle at $999. Again, not cheap, but if you use this in a city where you don't need a car, it's a pretty nice alternative. So, even though this is the smaller of the bunch, and even though I am 6'3", you would think I would like the longboard, but here's a little secret, which isn't very secret. I'm not that great of a skateboarder, and I feel more confident on this one because it has a sort of tough, wide stance and I know you can adjust the trucks to make them a little bit looser to suit your riding style, but I like them a little bit stiff because it gives me that nice, stable platform. If I had to choose between the two top-tier boosted offerings here on their skateboard side of the things, I'd be going with the Mini X. Now, I'd really be going with the Rev Scooter, which we reviewed, and you can see that. We'll put a link somewhere around here. Click on that, go watch that review. But of the two skateboards, my money would be spent on the Mini X. But let's take a minute to talk about the big guy. Bloop! Now, this little number is the Boosted Stealth. This is more of a longboard style board, and it has two rear belt drives just like the other guy. It has a 14 mile range just like the Mini X, but this one has a 24 mile per hour top speed to that one's 20. This has 85 millimeter wheels to this is 80 millimeter wheels. The deck is flexible, which really aids in that longboard like riding style. They both have regen braking. They both have Bluetooth enabled remotes which feature a technology called anti-jerk technology so if you're too rough on the throttle it smooths out those inputs so you don't go sailing into a bus a tree how was that turn josh you know, uh, how was that turn i'm in a thorn bush yeah did it hurt uh, yeah children a pane glass window or something else very painful this one I said weighs 16.8 pounds. This one weighs 17 pounds, though this one feels heavier than that one. That is 1,000 watts of power. This one is 2,100 watts of power. This one can climb 20% grades. This one can go up 25% grades, and it's 38 inches long. I told you this one was 999. This one is 1599. You're getting substantially more board. Both of them recharged in about an hour and 45 minutes, which is frankly fantastic and both offer great options for those of you looking for personal mobility solutions that are electrified and fun at the same time. I can't, I can't argue with either one of them. They're both great to ride. For my money, like I said though, I feel more comfortable on that one because I'm not a great skateboarder. Our cameraman Josh, who is a much better skateboarder, likes this one. 